hello everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn this beautiful business infographic design so let's start the tutorial the very first step is to insert a smart art and we will use this smart art because we need the hexagon select all the hexagons and paste by pressing ctrl v and once the hexagons are pasted remove all these hexagons we just only need one hexagon so before that we will ungroup all these hexagons and then we will remove them so now we are left with this one hexagon and we will start designing our infographing by using this hexagon shape now duplicate the hexagon shape and you know slightly reduce its size so that it fits inside the larger hexagon and place it at the center like this apply white color so that we can identify and select it easily now what we need to do is in the base hexagon the hexagon which is behind this white hexagon we will apply this gray color now we have this shape ready and on this main hexagon we will remove its outline and fill this color from the color palette so you can select any color palette you can design your own color palettes or you can download from google apply the shadow effect increase the blurness on the colored hexagon now we have inserted the icon here and after that we need to design a rounded rectangle for that insert a rounded rectangle shape and design it like this remove its outline or we need its outline and we are just adjusting the roundness so you can place it like this and you need to fill a nice color here So let's go with the white and we will color its border and the border should match the color of the hexagon and you can use the color picker to fill the color and it should look like this So our base shape is already done and we just need to you know polish it a bit and add some text so let's add the infographic text here so the text i'm writing here is like heading and a small description so you can change it as per the topic of your presentation or the requirements meanwhile you can subscribe to our channel and you can join the membership you can also hit the like button if you are able to understand what we are trying to help you understand also focus on text styling Text styling is also very important when it comes to design. Lots of users are now giving priority to text as well. Make sure important words are bold or presentable. You can even use underline. You can highlight important words in some different colors or you can slightly increase the font size. So you can try different things in the end it should look corporate 
neat and easy to understand. Do not create any clutter. Keep it simple and beautiful. Now we have duplicated the first set of hexagon and rounded rectangle. And we just need to move this rounded rectangle towards the right. And we just need to adjust the text margins here from left so that there is some distance or space between the hexagon and the text. And similarly, we will apply the same margin on the rectangle of the first hexagon so that everything and all the elements have equal margins now we need to change the color and we will pick our color from the color palette so our infographic is almost done because main components are ready now we just need to do the duplicate change color change text and it's done now again duplicate this and place it at the as a fourth point now we will duplicate this one and place it as a fifth point and now you can see these elements have covered the screen and we we just need to now focus on the alignment as well but before that let's fix the colors so we have used this color palette and the color picker to fill the colors and similarly for the outlines we will use this color palette and the picker It is very important to follow a consistent design theme, alignment, text styling, size, and then all these important steps and best practices makes a winning presentation. Now alignment part is pending, so we just need to align all these elements by using this align option. Align left and then we need to select all and distribute them vertically, then group them together, then once grouped, then reduce the size. Now change the background color and now it looks much better. So with gray background it is coming out really nicely and it is looking very corporate and stylish. So you can see it is a very simple infographic. We just placed hexagons and rounded rectangles and for the content we have used icons heading and description so these are five components of this five steps infographic so we have also changed the color of the headings matching the respective hexagon So this color picker this color picker thing is very easy to use and it is very time saving rather than you have to select color every time just use this option
so i'm just you know further enhancing the colors of the elements of the shadows and for the background hexagon so now you can write text here at the top and you can further improve the visibility of the text for example i have changed the color of the infographics in the text and we will make it bold so this is how you can try different things to make the text look beautiful you can play with the character spacing now let's do one more thing we will add a 3d perspective on this slide the slide is already done it's completed but to make it aesthetically more appealing we will add this shape here send to back remove its outline i know you are confused at the moment what we are trying to do but if you look at the finished design in the beginning of this video you will come to know what we are trying to do we are adding a 3d element it's not actually a 3d element it gives a sense of 3d kind of effect so it takes some time to adjust the height and the width to make sure that you get the best angle so i'm just testing the color here i think the light gray will look good here now duplicate it rotate it and place it here and change the color to a slightly darker tone now we will remove this extra portion which is not required So I'm just playing with the colors. You don't have to do this if you already know the colors you want. Now again, duplicate it, rotate the shape and place the one here. Now you can see it's a kind of 3D frame at the background. So this kind of element in the background will definitely get the user attention. So that's what you can do to make every slide look, you know, unique and presentable. So that's what you need to do. just further improve the color make sure the color is a bit on the lighter side currently it's a bit dark and now you can see the colors are looking very uh, corporate it's a very bright slide and it, it really looks amazing so here's the final result and it looks really amazing and look at this beautiful slide so I hope you like this design. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like button, share this video within your circle and keep watching our videos. So in my next video, we will come out with something which is really unique and beautiful. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Peace.